Welcome back, Ranger Nation. I'm Ashton Bags. Up ahead, we'll take a look at the Ranger Preview event that allows for high school juniors and seniors to feel what Northwestern's campus is like in a game night hosted by the SGA. Stay tuned, NWTV7. We'll be right back. Last Saturday, high school seniors were invited to attend Ranger Preview, an event used to showcase the Northwestern campus to potential Rangers. Let's go to NWTV7 reporter Leah Darnell for more on the story. All Saturday, high school seniors got to experience what it was like to be a Northwestern Ranger for a day. Here's a closer look at the Ranger Preview event. On Saturday, the Office of Recruitment hosted Ranger Preview for high school seniors. The event started at 9 a.m. with registration. Every student who was registered had their application fee waived by generous donors and a guaranteed $600 scholarship upon arriving at Northwestern. The high school seniors joined in as the pride of Northwestern played the Ride Rangers Ride fight song. Throughout the day, there was tours given by the NSA members. I had the opportunity to speak with Matt Adar, Assistant Dean of Student Affairs and Recruitment, about exactly what Ranger Preview was about. Ranger Preview is a, an open house here on Northwestern's campus. It's a day where high school seniors get a chance to come to college, come to our college, take a look at our campus, and live inside the day in the life of one of our students, especially on a Saturday because it's a football game day, so it's a lot of student life atmosphere. It's opportunity to meet with the faculty, staff, student organizations. Uh, every student that attend, attends Ranger Preview gets the opportunity to apply to college, and the application fee is covered by some of our community partners. Um, they get a $600 scholarship just for attending, and they really get an inside look at what it's like to be a Ranger. Pierceville Fieldhouse was packed full of student organizations, clubs, and all of the departments that were on campus, including the BCM, Wesley House, Student Success, TRIO, Alpha Sigma Alpha, during the formal ceremony, Kayla Mossberg gave a warm welcome to all the students, parents, and siblings who attended, as well as thanking the faculty, the clubs, and the organizations for making the event possible. President Cunningham spoke about the choices the attendees made for coming to Ranger Preview and considering Northwestern as an option. At the end of the formal ceremony, there was a drawing of four additional scholarships, each totaling $300. That wraps up Ranger Preview. This has been Leah Darnell reporting for NWTV7. Back to you in the studio. The oldest building on campus recently got its name changed for the fourth time in its history. Fine Arts is now formally called Ryerson Hall after the Alva family who contrib contributed one-third of the money for the transforming and updates necessary for the building. Dr. Cunningham commented on why the name of the building was changed. You know, the... Um I think the Ryerson family was was very instrumental in deciding that the Fine Arts Building itself was a building that they were interested in. Uh, it is the oldest building on campus. They have very much a historical perspective of Alva and of the institution. So, um, you know, often donors' wishes help drive uh, what we end up using a, a donation for, but uh, there was no disagreement among anybody that that is a building that we needed to protect and ensure that it lives on into the future for a long time. The unveiling of the name change took place on November 15th. Dr. Cunningham also commented on what the name change means to the university. Well, I think the name change is um, 
important in that it recognizes not only that contribution for the building itself, but many other things that the Ryerson family has uh, done over the years. They were instrumental in the two signs, the 7th Street sign and the corner sign. Uh, we have several endowed chairs with the Ryerson name on them in our business division. And our new Carillon system, which is back on campus, the Chimes, uh, those, those were uh, that was done by Mr. Ryerson. Uh, he could hear them from his house and he missed them greatly and we're so glad to have them back on campus. They add a lot. The Career and Internship Fair was held last Wednesday in order to help Northwestern students make connections and interact with people in their field. I had an opportunity to attend this event. Let's take a look. Last Wednesday, November 13th, in the upstairs ballroom of the Student Center, 15 different companies ranging in fields from food processing and human services to law enforcement and agricultural lending set up booths at the Career and Internship Fair. Students from a variety of ages and majors had the opportunity to interact with spokespeople from the companies as they pleased and discussed any opportunities that may be available to them specifically. This event provided real-life opportunity available in the surrounding area and gave a better understanding with face-to-face -face contact. Let's see what some rangers had to say about this event. Hi, I'm Kayla Gilkamer. I'm a senior here at Northwestern studying ag business. I'm looking for an internship and possible careers here at the Internship and Career for Possible next summer. I'm here at the Northwestern Career Fair today to look for an agriculture job that helps our farmers love to look into uh, ag loan or anything that's going to help our agriculture because it's growing every day. Uh, but the Career Fair is awesome. We have some great business here today. Up next, we'll take a look at basketball and volleyball, along with a look at the football game against Southwestern. And now sports. Welcome back. I'm Nick Dill. And I'm Katherine Baugh. The Lady Rangers fell to Emporia State Lady Hornets 44-83 last Thursday in Emporia, Kansas. The junior forward Bailey Brown led the way with 12 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 steals. She was followed by Jakiria Ote, who led the way defensively, having 4 of the 7 steals for the Lady Rangers. Along with finishing the game with 11 points and 2 assists, the Lady Rangers started slow against the Lady Hornets as they lost the first quarter 27-7. Emporia opened the game on a 7-0 run and never trailed during the game. Northwestern got as close as 7-5 after a 5-0 run. Emporia would answer that run with a 11-0 run, opening up the 18-5 lead. The first quarter, the Lady Hornets shot 45.83% along with hitting four three throws that led to Northwestern's record fall 1-2 on the season and Emporia State's improved to 2-1 to on the season. The Lady Rangers look to rebound the Newman University on Saturday. Northwestern Oklahoma State University Volleyball had their final away match against East Central after a stellar week with three different Players of the Week honors. The Rangers made quick work of the Tigers with a sweep and three sets. The Black and Red improved their record to a program best 22-9 and 11-3 in the Great American Conference. After a stellar week last week, Keanu Clark continued to excel with the team leading nine kills, five blocks, and a hit percentage of .300. Katie Honeycutt and Kate Dettering followed close behind with eight kills each. Jennifer Eubanks tallied seven kills and three blocks and the highest hit percentage with .375. Caitlin Robinson led the team with 23 of the 35 assists and Sydney Miller tallied a team high of 14 digs. The Lady Rangers won all three sets as they go against Oklahoma Baptist for their final home game. Northwestern Oklahoma State University men's basketball dropped to a tough loss against the out-of-conference opponent Newman University Saturday afternoon in Wichita, Kansas. Newman's record improved to 3-1 while the Rangers dropped to 1-2. The Rangers traveled for their first away game against the Jets and struggled to find a rhythm. Newen pulled through an early lead and never let go as they snatched the win with a final score of 65-53. to Junior transfer Paris Hewitt led the team with 16 points, 6 rebounds, and went 10-13 to from the free throw line. Northwestern will start the Great American Conference play against top break Southern Nazarene on Thursday, November 21st. Tip-off is scheduled for 7.30 p.m. as the Rangers will follow the Lady Rangers game at 5.30 p.m. 
the Lady Rangers faced off against Oklahoma Baptist for their final home game of the season. I was able to attend the game and watch as the seniors were recognized. Let's take a closer look. The Northwestern Valley team lost Thursday night as Oklahoma Baptist University Bison defeated them three sets to one. The Rangers had all the momentum in the first set and had an early lead, but the Bison came in and made it a close game with a score of 18 to 17. The game was then tied 22 to 22, but great back-to-back -back kills from Kate Dettering secured the win 25 to 23 for the Rangers. The second set was an exciting one with 12 different tied scores. Despite a kill by Keanu Clark to tie the game at 19, the Bison scored six straight to win match two, 25 to 19. The Rangers started to get a groove back in the third set with a five to one lead. The Rangers held the lead until the game was tied at 15. Northwestern had a final effort with a three point run, but the Rangers fell just short and lost in set three, 25 to 21. Northwestern was looking to stay alive in the fourth set and give everything they had. There were 21 ties and 21 different lead changes. The Bison seemed they were pulling away with the win, but Northwestern kept battling. There were six different lead changes within the last 10 points of the game. Despite a great effort, Northwestern lost set four 30 to 28. The Bison won the match. There were many top performers for the Rangers. Katie Hunnicutt led the team with 16 kills and 19 digs. Alexi Beach led the team with four kills and Sydney Miller led the team in digs with 28. Despite a tough loss, the Rangers have clinched the second seed. Northwestern will play their first match of the tournament on November 21st at 2.30 p.m. versus Wachita Baptist in Hot Springs, Arkansas. On Saturday, the Lady Rangers basketball team bounced back after losing two consecutive games when they faced Newman University in Wichita, Kansas. Northwestern finished the game on top 68-66 to after the sophomore from Lamega, Oklahoma, Kenzie Lemaire, dropped 32 points and broke Northwestern's school record of the most individual three-pointers in the game with 10. Lamar also tied the Great American Conference record that was set in 2016. The Lady Rangers' leading scorers were Kinsey Lamar with 32 points and Bailey Brown who had 15. Senior guard Kalia King struggled offensively but was still extremely impactful coming around to get nine rebounds and eight assists along with two steals on the defensive end. Northwestern's offense would go into a standstill in the fourth quarter as Newman had a chance to regain the lead, but the Lady Rangers defense had other thoughts as the team created a dead ball turnover. Clea Leverinch would hit a foul shot, extending the final score to 68 to 66. The win improves the Lady Rangers two to two on the season, and after a few days off, they will get to take on their next opponent, Southern Nazarene in Bethany, Oklahoma, to open up the Great American Conference play this Thursday at 5.30. The Northwestern Rangers football team defeated Southwestern Oklahoma State for the third season in a row with a score of 28 to 16. The Rangers scored first when a Southwestern punt was blocked by Aaron Barnes and was recovered by Kentrez Bell, who walked to the end zone for a touchdown. The scoring continued during the first drive of the second quarter with Callion Baker's three yard touchdown run. However, Southwestern responded to a missed Ranger field goal, taking a 16 to 14 lead into the half. The third quarter was a turning point for Northwestern as they held the ball for eight and a half minutes and ran 18 plays. With this win, Northwestern finished their season four and seven and seventh in the Great American Conference standings. Stay tuned. Up next, Ashton will talk about two events that were used to help Northwestern students create and build friendships. On November 11th, Speed Friendshipping was hosted by the Career Services in the Student Center Ranger Room. This event gave students an opportunity to meet new people by asking a series of different questions from a list provided. If both parties wanted to keep in contact at the end of the allotted time, they would select yes and write the student's nickname in the blank. In addition, students who participated were also able to put their names on raffle tickets for a drawing that will be done at the end of the semester. NWTV7 reporter Leah Darnell was able to attend the game night hosted by the SGA. Here she is with more. Students got their game faces on at the game night on Tuesday night. Here's a closer look at the event. On November 12th, students gathered together at the Student Center to play a variety of board, card, and video games. Some of the games were New Phone Who This, Call of Duty, Super Smash Bros, Mario Kart, and Wii Sports. 
Throughout the night, students had an opportunity to play the different games, meet new students, and team up for the different games that were provided. I had a chance to speak with Vice President of Student Government Association, Ethan Sackett, about what the purpose of the game night was. So uh, as SGA, we put on the game night to provide a great opportunity for the students to take a break from uh, studying and uh, their normal routine and just uh, take a break, come to the student center and uh, just play some games, get to know some students that they normally wouldn't uh, meet and uh, just provides a great opportunity to just uh, relax a little. So games was Super Smash Bros. played on the Nintendo Switch. I had a chance to catch up with a student, Caleb Pierce, about why he decided to come to the game night. Uh, I was just trying to figure out like, to see if anybody <laughs> could <laughs> take <laughs> Smash Bros. But I guess not. Whenever you're taking a break, just press your <laughs> While I was speaking with Sackett, he spoke about whether or not SGA will have another game night in the spring semester. Potentially. Absolutely. We're always looking for new opportunities for the students to be involved in. And, uh, uh, we've got a decent turnout here, so we're um, always looking to offer something for the students to be involved in, and uh, definitely consider it for the next semester. That is a game over for the game night. This has been Leah Darnell reporting for NWTV7. Back to you in the studio. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next week with more NWTV7.